and hear a small voice that you just keep dismissing do you know how it feels to be troubled inside to think just for you want to cross someone out do you know how it feels when he longs to surrender and have your sins washed away never to be remembered and tears started flowing the moment you felt it do you know how it feels to know you've been changed and it seems that the whole world has been rearranged do you know how it feels whenever you wrong you still get the feeling that you're not at home and know that it's real tell me do you know how it feels how does it song or testimony you see? If not, call the preacher. First of all, I like to say I love the Lord today. I tell you, I'm glad to be saved. I tell you, uh, I was just sitting there thinking and uh, Lord brought this to my mind. You know the difference between the lost and the saved? You know, we both have our ups and downs. Yeah, right. You know, uh, yeah. uh, when we, uh, the lost uh, have their up and downs, uh, uh, when they have their downs, you know what they got to look forward to? Uh, the world. Uh, but when we have our ups and downs, uh, uh, you know what we do? We look up because uh, we know uh, where our help comes from. Uh, uh, Psalms uh, 121 and 1 and 2 says... Uh, Says, Oh Lord, have mercy, I tell you. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, thank God forevermore. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. I tell you, I'm glad. Brother, let me read that to you. Brother, 147 and 3 and 4 says, uh, Let me tell you, I'm glad that I'm saved in that church. I tell you, I've got my mind made up. I'm going to make heaven my home. Uh, one day after a while, I tell you, uh, we serve a mighty big God. I tell you, uh, brother, let me tell you, it's going to rain on the just as well as the unjust. Uh, let me tell you, the uh, Bible teaches me, uh, brother, uh, weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. Uh, let me tell you, uh, my friends, uh, God's going to take care of us. I'll tell you, I've never seen the righteous uh, forsaken and uh, know his seed begging bread. Uh, let me tell you, Psalms uh, 55 and 22 says, uh, Cast thy burdens upon the Lord, uh, and he shall sustain thee. Uh, let 
let me tell you, uh, Matthew 11, uh, 28, 29, and 30 says, uh, uh, cast thy burdens. Uh, no, uh, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you uh, tonight, my friend. Uh, oh, thank God forevermore. Uh, oh, thank God. Uh, well, I bless the Lord. Uh, I tell you, I'm glad that I'm saved tonight. Uh, I tell you, uh, uh, brother, uh, I would rather be at church in any place in this world tonight. Uh, I tell you, you can give me all the money, uh, brother in Fort Knox, uh, and I wouldn't be content. Uh, uh, let me tell you tonight, uh, uh, brother, uh, I tell you, I'm glad that I serve a God, uh, uh, brother. Uh, uh, thank God forevermore. Uh, 147 and 3 says he healed the broken in heart and binded up his wounds. He tells the number of stars. He calls them all by their names. Uh, don't we serve a mighty and big God? Oh, thank God. Amen. <laughs> Uh, 28, 29 says, uh, Come unto me, all you that have you laid. Oh, no, thank God. Amen. Well, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well, thank God, I tell you tonight, my friend, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and now I will give you rest. Uh, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. Amen. Oh, thank God. Uh, Peter, I believe it is. Uh, five and seven says, uh, uh, casting all that cares upon him, uh, uh, for he careth for you. Uh, uh, let me tell you, uh, oh, thank God. I uh, tell you, I thank you, Pastor. Uh, when they told Elijah uh, to go up on the mountain, uh, uh, let me tell you, oh, thank God. Uh, the Bible says a great wind came. Oh, uh, brother, uh, the Lord wasn't in it. Uh, uh, let me tell you, uh, my friend, oh, uh, the next, uh, uh, great earthquake. Uh, uh, let me tell you, and the Lord wasn't in it. Uh, uh, let me tell you, the next uh, was a fire. Uh, and the Bible says uh, the Lord wasn't in it. Uh, oh, you know what it was in? Uh, a small steel voice. Uh, uh, let me tell you, if we'll sit back uh, and listen to the voice of the Lord, uh, I tell you, uh, brother, uh, we go through uh, many things. Uh, I tell you, not my friends. Uh, oh, my I went, uh, brother, I got saved uh, here almost 14 years ago. And I tell you, oh, and, uh, the Lord led me away from this little old church uh, about a year later. And I tell you, I went, and brother, I just followed what the Lord had had me to do. I was trying to be a willing vessel. And I tell you, oh, and I pray, and I pray. Oh, I said, Lord, I want to go home. Oh, Lord, I want to go home. I tell you, I missed the bunch. Uh, brother, I tell you, I know uh, where there's the Spirit of the Lord is. Uh, there's liberty. Uh, let me tell you, uh, brother. Oh, I tell you, uh, brother. I tell you, I sat around. Uh, and brother, really, I tell you, I was physically, uh, spiritually dying. I tell you, uh, brother. I had no help. I tell you, let me tell you, I'm not putting nobody down. I tell you, when you got three young preachers starting to preach, and you take your night to preach and have Bible study, let me tell you, somebody has got to fall by the wayside. Not everybody's going to get to preach, especially when you only have preaching. Brother, on Sundays, sometimes we had it on Wednesday. Uh, when we was all there, uh, let me tell you, we had six preachers at the time. Uh, let me tell you, and I tell you, we was physically, uh, brother, dying of it. Uh, let me tell you, uh, two uh, fell by the wayside. Oh, thank God, I'm still upon a rock. Uh, let me tell you, uh, brother, I, I'm glad, uh, brother. Oh, uh, thank God, uh, brother, he showed me uh, where I need to be. I tell you, he showed yeah, me uh, what the church is, uh, is coming down to. Uh, brother, let me tell you, uh, you better be glad uh, you have a church, uh, a brother, that stands on the word of God uh, and don't sugarcoat. Uh, thank God, uh, brother. Uh, oh, bless the Lord. I don't care how many people, a uh, family you got in the church, uh, uh, brother, uh, you can't welcome seeing in. I'm glad to be home. I tell you, I'm glad the 
Lord showed me uh, where I need to be. Oh, thank God. Amen. If I would just listen uh, to that small, still voice. Uh, woo! Uh, brother, I'd been back home a long time ago. Uh, and I would be been growing. Uh, I tell you, I might not be able to preach uh, like Brother Max and Brother Butch. Uh, brother Oh, but the yep. Lord himself 
There's going to be the light of that city. But let me tell you, praise God forevermore. Oh, thank God, brother. We just need to hold on. this old body would be and I'd probably be burning in hell if I wouldn't change my ways. I tell you, I had intentions before I got saved to kill the failure. But let me tell you, I done had my mind made up. Buddy, I done had it all planned out. I had a plan that I was going to get drunk with him and be buddies with him and just talk up and hug him 
around the neck and blow his brains out. Uh, but God seen fit. Uh, let me tell you to save this old boy. You know, he didn't only save me. He probably gave that boy another chance uh, to be saved. Oh, thank God that he saved me. I'm glad uh, for a church, a uh, brother that was praying uh, for this old boy, a uh, praying mom. Oh, thank God. I come home one late night, uh, uh, brother, and I heard my mom praying uh, the sweetest sound a uh, man could ever hear. Uh, when she calling that Lord, uh, uh, save my children. Yeah. Woo! I tell you. That ain't nothing like it. Hey, brother, I tell you, you pray, Mom. I just keep praying for your children. Oh, thank God Amen. forevermore. Amen. I tell you, God is faithful. I tell you tonight, my children. Woo! I tell you, oh, thank God forevermore. And you know what? Uh, brother, if I leave this whole world, I just have a better place to go. Oh, I'll be like old Paul, for I am now ready uh, to be offered. Amen. And in my time in the park of the hand, oh, I fall to get by. I kept the faith. His Lord then laid up for me the crown of righteousness, uh, which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto them all yeah. that love his appearing. Amen. Well, bless the Lord. Uh, thank God uh, forevermore. Uh, brother, I want to go to heaven uh, one day after a while. That's what I'm striving for. Uh, next month, it'll be 14 years. Oh, thank God. Uh, brother, I oh, thank God forevermore. Oh, I've never bless been the same, uh, Brother Baxter. Uh, thank God forevermore. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Amen. Thank God. He placed the love in my heart Amen. for the fellow man. And the Bible teaches us that we know we pass from death into life. And because we love the brother, he the love not his brother that bided in death. And let me tell you, woo! Oh, thank God. And the Bible says, I believe it is. Oh, he the said that he's in the light and hate his brother is in darkness even till now. Yeah. Well, bless the Lord. Yeah. Bless the Lord. I love him because he first loved me. Amen. He the said Amen. that he hated his brother and loved God. He's a liar. Yeah. But he that loved not his brother. Amen. Well, thank God. Amen. Well, bless, Amen. The bless, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm glad I'm saved. Oh, the Bible teaches me. I believe it's in First John 2 and 7 and 8 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth God, God, for God is love. 4 and 11 says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to also love one another. Amen. Well, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Thank God for Forevermore. I tell you, I've got my mind made up. Oh, Cecil Justice used to say this. My mind's made up. I'm prayed up and ready to go up. Uh, let me tell you, uh, today, my friend, uh, I believe it's First John uh, 5 and 2 says, uh, My little children, uh, let us. Uh, Listen, Lord. No, it's 1 uh, John uh, 1 and 18, I believe it is, or something like that. He says, my little, uh, my little children, uh, let us not love in words, uh, neither in tongues, but in deed and in truth. Right. Yeah. I tell you tonight, church, for today, Amen. I'm glad I'm saved. Amen. I'm glad to be back home in this church. I tell you, it's not everywhere you go that you feel the presence of the Lord. Like I say, I'm, I'm not a very intelligent preacher. But what I've got, God's given me. I've got a seventh grade education. Never did go to school much. You know, I, I just tell you, I love the Lord. I love each and every one of y'all. I tell you, I just want to make heaven my home one day after that. And I want to see each and every one of y'all there. I, I, I tell you, my goal is to see people saved. You know, I... Like I say, I'm not the intelligent. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. But I tell you, I am called. Without a shadow of doubt, I am called. You know, when I got ordained, they said, how do you know that you're called? 
how, can we say that you're not called? Brother Joe, Joe Lane asked me that. I said, well, Joe, it's not up to you to say if I'm called or not. God called me, and I've got my mind satisfied that, that I'm going to preach His Word, and nothing can stop me. If you ordain me or not, I'm going to preach God's Word. If I have to preach it to the trees or dogs or cats, I'm going to preach it. Somebody, yeah, I can remember when I was little walking down through Greenville, the old timers, that brother, they would pray and you could hear them. They was praying for revival. They was praying for the lost family, their lost neighbors, their lost friends. I tell you, where have we gone today? Where has the church gone today? You know, the church hasn't changed. Church hasn't changed. The people's changed. Uh, we, we just don't mind the Lord no more. Uh, we don't worship the Lord like we used to in the old days. Uh, brother, I can remember when I was young, I went to Sunday school a few times. Uh, brother, I can remember Leslie Layton and Brother Elmer and them, uh, Brother shouting all over the place. I tell you, I'm glad that one day after a while we can leave this old world to sin. Oh, and put on a new body that is like unto the Son of God. Oh, thank God forevermore. Oh, the Bible teaches me. Uh, that, well, bless the Lord. Uh, one day we're going to put on incorruption. Uh, this old mortal's going to put on immortality. I tell you, oh, no more aches and pains. And no more wheelchairs, no more canes, brother. Now. Uh, thank God forevermore. Oh, uh, no more arthritis. Uh, we'll have no need of a doctor, heart doctor, or a cancer doctor. I tell you, uh, brother, uh, we're going to have one uh, long, long day over in heaven. Uh, brother, oh, uh, the Bible teaches me a thousand years is one day, and one day is a thousand years with the Lord. I, I tell you, uh, brother, you just think uh, one day is going to spend like for a thousand years you think about that. Uh, one long day for eternity. I, I tell you, I'm glad that I'm saved. Amen. And one day, Amen. I'm going to spend eternity with Jesus. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. pray for me. Amen. 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 This is what Jeremiah said. Thus said the Lord, stand you in the ways and Amen. see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Is that not the world we're living in today? Jeremiah said that about 4,000 years ago. Can you imagine that? And it's, it's true today. Folks, this word ain't going to be... Uh, uh, God's word's not going to void. It's going it to land somewhere. It'll land somewhere, and it'll accomplish what it's sent out to accomplish. Amen. It's up to us to take it. I tell you what, dude, brother Scott, won't you give an altar call? Come on, somebody sing. Maybe y'all, somebody come sing. Get us a song here, brother. Let's, let's just open all the way. We never thought about one today. We don't want to hinder God from doing yeah. While they come to sing, will they be one that want to pray? I tell you, if you're weak and you need to guide us and strengthen from the Lord, would you come? I tell you, there's no shame in praying. I tell you, would you come today? I know the Bible tells us in Romans, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus, believe in thy heart that God raised thee from the dead, thou shalt. Righteous from mouth confession made this revelation. I tell you, I really believe the time's running out for our lost people. You can look around wars and, and rumors of wars, I tell you. Ungodly things are coming into this state now. Things that I never dreamed that would happen. And this happened today. I read the other day, same-sex marriage. If, if they get married in California and they move to West Virginia, we'd have to, okay, because it's a federal law, you know, for their taxes and stuff that we'd have to recognize. 
And I've always told people that once the Catholic Church will open up for gays and same-sex marriage, this world will go in shambles. I believe where it's the biggest organization they are, I believe that's the only thing keeping them from doing I tell you, I believe if we can just turn to God and pray and seek His face, I believe things will change. He said, if my people which call by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I'll go their lands. I tell you, would you come today? I really think, I believe time's running out. I'm sure this band of Christians will gather around to you and pray and ask the Lord to come into your life. Would you come? You have to be interested in your son and where it's going. You wouldn't be here today. Would you go? Would you come? Bible teaches me that you'll reject him and reject him and reject him. And then you'll call and call and call and he'll reject you. Do you want him to reject you? Why not? When he's marking on your heart's door, why not accept him? This could be your last opportunity. You might have a doctor's book, and when you go to the doctor, he says you're right up with cancer. There's no hope for you. I'm glad my hope's in Jesus. I'm glad that there's a heaven to gain and hell to shame. Would you come? I lost a dear friend just a month ago. He was healthy as a horse and went to the doctor. Thought it was his gallbladder. Come find out he was head up with cancer. I don't think he even made it four months and he left this whole world. Would you come? Hey, thanks, Lord. Thank you. All right. We just want to make sure that uh, they don't ever yeah, fail to give everybody an opportunity. Right. You know, uh, this is a, oh, this is a scary thing. It really is. It scares me to think that I'm leaving the world without the Lord. It's bad after scares me. I'm not going to do it. <coughs> You can't go on to the